Okay, in this video I will show you how to convert an SDLTM file into a TMX file. SDLTM is the native format of translation memories in SDL Trader Studio and that format relies on the SQLite database engine which is in the public domain. This means that it is possible to gain access to the content of an SDLTM memory without needing SDL Trader Studio. And there's a fellow translator in Holland, Thomas van Nellen, who found a way to do this. He posted a Visual Basic script on his website and I've downloaded the script. So that's the download button here and I've uh, included a link to that page in the description field below. So here I extracted the file into uh, its own folder. So that's a file with a VBS extension, it's a Visual Basic script. And on the left hand side I have another folder with three files and these uh, three files come from the trial version of uh, Studio 2011 and one of these files, this one, is a file with an SDLTM extension and that's a translation memory from uh, Studio. And the way the conversion works is very easy. All I have to do is drag and drop, like this, the file on the script name. And then I answer open. And after a few seconds, I get my uh, converted file here. So I have now a TMX. And in order to show you that this is a valid file, I will go to MemoQ. And in, Memo in MemoQ, I will create a new TM. Uh, so I have a English-French project here, so I can accept the default like this. And now I will import the TMX that we just created with the script. So it's uh, here and open. I will accept the default. And my file is now imported and I can check with edit that the content is OK. And it looks OK as far as I can see. So all the accent and other special characters in French are OK. And I can see the metadata on the right hand side. Uh, so uh, it looks like uh, it's uh, working. So that was how to convert an SDLTM file from Studio into a TMX and import it in MemoQ. And in the next video I will have a similar conversion but this time with this file, the one with the SDLTB extension which stands for term base and with another utility that was released recently, I will convert that SDLTB file into an Excel file and I will be able to import the content of that uh, Excel file into MemoQ. So this means that I will be able to use both a TM and a term base from Studio in MemoQ. And in a third video, I will show how to translate this file here, the one with the SDL XLIF extension, which is the translatable file which is supposed to be translated in SDL Trader Studio and uh, that format is supported by MemoQ and in uh, that uh, third video I will show you how to translate that SDL XLIF file in MemoQ using the TM that we just converted and the term base that we will convert in the next video. So thank you for watching and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.